Hello YouTube, and it's time for us to take a look at the park. And you guys know how this video works. It's been with us for a little while. If not, there's a couple things you need to know about this video. It's a 360 video. So on most TV sets, not smart TVs, but on most TV sets, if you're watching it through like Roku or something, you're not going to be able to see it in the way that it's been filmed. And that's 360 degrees or virtual reality. Um, basically, you can look in any direction that you want. You can do that with your phone, your tablet, and even a laptop or a PC computer. You can do it that way too by dragging your mouse around and taking a look. However, there's a couple things you need to know, and that is you better have a pretty quick internet uh, connection because there's a lot of content in the video, so you need a good speed. So the first thing you need to do is go down to the gear setting that's at the bottom of your screen um, and change your definition to the highest definition that's available. Uh, that way you're going to see it you know, much better than what you would if you uh, just leave it the way it defaults to. Um, we even have this problem in our RV, believe it or not. Even with our internet, which is relatively quick, it's hard for us to get full definition. However, if you've got the ability, you're going to be able to see a lot more doing that. Uh, the second thing is, if I just uploaded this video, if you check and it's just been uploaded within the last hour, it could be that YouTube is still processing the video and that the quality that they have available for you to watch is not that great. So that's why um, you may want to delay watching this uh, so you can get the full quality. So take your mouse, your phone, whatever, and look around. And we're going to take a look at this park that we've been at for about the last two weeks now. And that is Fort Myers Beach RV Resort. Uh, this is part of our Encore package. You can hear the trash truck behind us. Well, we might as well talk about that. This trash service runs constantly here. These trash cans have never been full. We've always been able to put our trash in there. So that's something that's a little bit different compared to some of the other campgrounds we've been at. Um, it is on a relatively busy road. However, once you cross the road, um, you can ride all the way to Fort Myers Beach on your bikes. It's about 3.9 miles. Um, we're in, of course, Fort Myers Beach area, um, and we're at uh, 16299 San Carlos Boulevard, and it's a Fort Myers mailing address. So if you guys want to know what it's like to be in Florida um, during February, <laughs> um, right now it's 81 degrees, and uh, we, we're enjoying it greatly. But we'll go ahead and take a walk through the park. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, show you some of the stuff. We're not going to walk through things because there's a lot of people in COVID. Of course, that's kind of an issue. And when we walk through the park, we're not going to walk through the entire park. We've done that in the past with smaller parks. This is a little bit larger. So what we're going to do is just walk down through the center of the park, and you'll be able to see all the sites. And, yes, they are tight, but it's doable. Um, I do have a suggestion if you are coming here and you have a concern about getting parked they do have people to help you park and take you out so if you come after i believe 5 p.m you need to let them know if you need help because there is a self check-in here but you're i think that you possibly will be on your own negotiating the corners and getting into your spot yes and there's something too um and and it's our neighbors actually believe it or not if you look behind us a little ways well let me move off to the side here See that fifth wheel over there they've been our neighbors for the last two weeks well they're leaving tomorrow as are we and instead of at four in the morning because they're going to leave very early um, negotiating hooking up all that stuff um, they chose to go to the overflow and that overflow i believe holds one for sure maybe two trailers and there's hookups there so basically what they're doing is they're staying hooked up and I think it's just electric. I don't think they have sewer. I think it's just electric. But they're staying hooked up for the night, and they're going to leave tomorrow morning. So it was smart on their part. And again, they had the escort to get them out, you know, tell them left, right, up, down, whatever, because it is a tight park as you're getting ready to see. So let's go ahead and walk through here. I don't know how much we're going to be able to navigate, or I should say narrate, uh, because the wind is blowing a little bit. I might have to mute some sections because of music. But let's go ahead and go through this. So on the entrance here, you can do either way. There's, there, it's both directions when you come in. So there's an entrance over here. Uh, there's an exit over there. There's an entrance over here. And then an exit over there, too. 
Now to get into the park during the daytime, this entrance is open uh, that's by the pool. Um, it is a one way. However, going in and out of the park, that is the only 24 hour entrance and exit that's available. And of course, you can just pull in here, you can park right up front, and uh, there's your check in. Uh, they may have you uh, do an overnight check-in type thing like Heidi had said if, you, if you're doing a pre-check-in or a late check-in there's a box to the left of the door that's where all your package will be to get in your packet I should say um, something else you want to know there's a diner that's just on the other side of this building walking distance easily very good diner and going in this direction it's very hard to see and again, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see it, but there's a uh, Tiki sub, and they're very good also. Again, walking distance for sure. The swimming pool is very popular here. There's always people at the pool. There's always events going on. Uh, of course, that's the rec center over there also. And there's restrooms off to the side. We're coming through a little skinny entrance. You're going to see this as a repeating theme throughout this park. And that is everything is really tight. So again, the office, there's also a back door to the office. You're going to see a lot of these places um, are available for rent. And that's these uh, more permanent sites, these mobile home sites. The park is roughly 50 years old. So some of the sites may be a little bit older than others. Uh, units that are on there. We do allow uh, mail to be delivered. Uh, if it's the U.S. Postal Service, you have to, they will call you if they get a package through that. Um, they allow Amazon, um, FedEx in here, UPS. You just have your site number on the right. address. Right. So again, you can see a lot of the permanent sites here. I think a couple are actually for sale, too. And of course, they do seasonal, too. Yeah, I know the camera is probably a little bit deceiving as far as the width of the roads, but um, I'm guessing they're eight foot. Now they're definitely bigger than that. Maybe yeah. ten foot. Ten? Okay. Well, yeah, because maybe even closer to twelve. Because there's some RVs that are ten foot wide. Oh, that's true. They're not very wide. <laughs> they're not wide. No, that's why they have escorts bringing them in and out. So the first thing we're coming up to is, uh, of course, there's a couple stop signs coming up here, but the laundry facilities and the shower houses. So we've got the shower house always being cleaned. We've never had anything that made us think that it's dirty at any point. And then the laundry facility, which I think we've covered previously, but we'll, we'll go over there and take a peek. Maybe Heidi can walk through holding this. There you go. And I'll show the other side. Okay. Nice clean laundry. Washer dryer, about 50. You have to buy a $5 card. Um, you have to use your debit card to put money on it. Now, believe it or not, we're pretty much through half of the park. And you can see in both directions what it looks like. Now, there's a lot of permanent sites that are to our left currently um, that kind of line that whole tree line over there. And the same over here on the right. Sites get kind of tight here. Step to your right. And we had some people. 
bullets left. Again, as busy as this place is, as packed as it is, with the exception of a few dogs, it's not quiet. It's like this at night also. Yeah, it's, it's pretty darn quiet. It's because everybody's out playing in the water uh -huh. at the beach. Lots of stuff to do in the area. If you want to go to the beach, I would suggest you get there at, before 8 a.m. Yeah. Unless you want to deal with the traffic. Yes, definitely. But then you won't get a good spot on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can see our site here. And again, our neighbors just left. That's who we just saw at the... Uh, up at the overflow spot. Oh, so the other thing that we noticed is, if I'm not mistaken, your overflow, you can park at that at night too if you don't want to try to negotiate in after hours. Of course, there's a lot of rigs from up north. Now, this seems to be a road to the other side, from what I can tell. But they stopped it. I don't know why. Maybe they separated it. Well, the Concord just bought this part. Yeah, see, available April to October. Again, it looks like the perimeter is mainly full-time units, seasonal, or yearly, annual. This just gives you the last little bit of glimpse of how tight the sights are. So, that's one of the things that uh, we wanted to cover while we were here. Again, if you don't know how this works, just look around. Just look around as you're doing, as we have done the video. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and place them down in the comments. Um, would we do this park again? There's so many options in the area. We would if there was no other choice. But since we've already been here. Now, if... This was a first time experience for us. Will we do it? Yeah. I mean, that's why we did it. We knew they were going to be tight when we got here, but surprisingly very quiet. Even the neighbors that just left out of here, they said that they really were shocked. Yeah, if you notice, most of them, uh, all the sites are buddy sites. Yeah. So um, we didn't have any issues. Um, right. We had great neighbors. Uh, I don't see why anybody would have any issues, actually. No. It's such a quiet park. Yeah, um, this is supposed to be a 55 plus, no reservation with kids. However, um, there are some kids that fly through the park, probably some grandkids. And it's overall a really decent place to stay. Um, it's one of the furthest resorts from the beach. However, again, still accessible. We have a couple electric bikes and um, we went down there, went over the bridges, went through traffic and got back just fine and still had plenty of battery left to where we could have made another trip easily. So uh, that's it, and Heidi will close it out. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. Bye.